file. Let's talk about the minimum path sum. So given the n by n matrix, fill up with non-negative number, find the path from top left to bottom right, right? So minimize the sum of all numbers along the path. So uh, this will be easy. I'm going to talk about the top uh, top down and bottom up method. So for the top down right on the top left to bottom right, right? When you want to traverse, if the cells is index i equals 0, j equals 0, right? If you don't want to add anything. So if you have the value when i equals 0, you need to add the value on your left. And just keep adding, just keep just keep adding. This, this is the only way. Because you can only move either down or right, right? So uh, let's stop talking and just keep typing. So grid length and then m equals 3. Uh, 0 at length and then traverse. And also, like, I need to check if i equals 0 and j equals 0. So, in this case, you don't want to add anything, so it's continue. If i equals 0, you need to update your current cell, which is grid, ij plus equal to grid, i j minus 1. You need to add on your left. And same thing for the j equal to 0. j equal to 0. So one, uh, once you finish, you just continue. Like, you don't want to get rid of um, anything else. If j equal to 0, which is in this scenario, sorry, in this scenario. So which means you, you have to add a number on your top, right? So grid ij plus equal to grid i minus 1 j, same column and then you can also continue as well and the last one will be grid ij and this one will be uh, uh, for example this is 5 so it's either what you, it's either you go from here to here or go, or go from here to here right so just find a minimum on the top and left so this will be pretty much the solution so okay. Math mean and then grid i minus one j or grid i j minus one and later on when you want to return just return grid uh, grid n minus one and n minus one this is because um, the n represent the length and this the last one which is the last uh uh bottom right you have to subtract by one because this includes the uh, index zero and they just run it hopefully i don't make a mistake oh i do so uh let me check do i have any problem or not so you see the i j minus one i minus one j and this is plus equal i'm, I'm sorry it's plus equal over here you need to you need you need to keep adding it's either like top left or right so keep adding and sorry about that so let's start running so this is top down method and let's talk about the time and space complexity so the time this is all of n times n and space is constant and this will be the top down so i'm going to copy paste for the bottom up bottom up is a little bit sim uh, similar so bottom up Bottom up is pretty much the same. So starting from n minus one, and then n minus one, and then for the uh, for the top right, I mean bottom right, then you don't touch anything. And if this is last column or last uh, last column or last row, you don't do anything. Just keep adding on your right. And then you want to return at index zero zero, which is exactly the same thing, but you just reverse the logic. So adding the number from bottom right to the top left and let's just run it and this will be pretty much the same yes and the time and space is also the same so time is n times n space is constant all of one and this is the solution so apologize my mistake and I will see you next time and good luck